Hi guys. Um, so I showed you a little bit of what's going on with my squash because I want to talk about squash bugs today, which are probably one of the two biggest pests uh, when it comes to squash plants. Uh, the other one would probably be vine borers. I've only had one in this location, but I know like my mom has a big problem with them. Mostly, I just get squash beetles, which look very similar to stink bugs, except for they're brown, not green. You probably see them in your house a lot, especially in the spring and the fall. Um, why, I don't know. But they do tend to hang out in beetles houses. So, they will eat other bugs, but their favorite thing to lay their eggs on is squash leaves. And sometimes they lay them on the top if it's a big bushy plant. But more typically, it's on the bottom, in between the um, in between the veins of the leaves. And if you've missed them, and you just now have little um, baby squash bugs, I think they're oh, what is the word? Ah. I forget the name of immature squash bugs, but whatever they're called. Um, if you've noticed them running around on your plants. So if you've noticed these little immature squash bugs running around on your plants, um, if you flip your leaves over you will probably find little patches of shiny eggs. Sometimes they're brown. If it's harlequin beetles which are related to squash beetles, they'll, they'll almost be like little Alice in Wonderland swirly looking things. It's it's like little tiny cake shaped things with black and white rings on them. Um, they're actually quite cute. <laughs> but uh, the easiest way to get rid of them is to get yourself some duct tape. Just get a length of it and hook the ends over backwards so the sticking part's on the outside. Hold it with your hand. Find a leaf, the one I just showed you with eggs on it. We'll do. And stick the tape to the eggs and usually it will pull the eggs off without damaging your plant. Let's see if I can show you that. See how they're stuck to the tape. This also works really well for the actual bugs themselves. So if you find some running around on your leaves, usually in groups, you can just use your tape They're not actually dead. They're just stuck. So they'll be wiggly. Don't be weirded out by that. If it weirds you out, just remember you are protecting your squash. It'll make you feel better. Uh, so there weren't too many on that leaf. There's some there. You have to be careful because sometimes... Sometimes they are green. The, the green stink bugs. They don't typically lay on the squash, but their eggs are green, not brown. So they blend in a little bit better. Um, so yeah, you can pull them off at this stage. I, I guess they're called nymphs. Um, at this stage, their abdomen is kind of green, but when they get bigger, they turn more gray colored. So I got a whole bunch off of this plant over here and I'm just going to continue going around and seeing what I can find. It would also work for other bugs if you have infestations um, of like aphids or something, you could do that as well. And the nice thing is once you're done you can just chuck it in the trash and they're not going to crawl away because duct tape sticky. So that's my tip for you today. Check your squash. It's easier to get rid of them when they're still eggs. Um, I haven't been checking them recently because it's just been hot and I've been focusing more on weeding and there's quite a lot of eggs going on. So I need to get to work and see how many I can find before they hatch. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave me you know, a comment down there and I will see you guys again next time. Bye.